Greetings. Welcome to the Republican Climate Channel. And on this channel, in various video clips, I explain how the party in its present form encourages intimidation and hostility and all other kinds of negative things in our political and social interactions. I want to repeat from the first video, I haven't said this every time, but I have said it several times, that not all Republicans are this way. There are moderate Republicans, there are reasonable Republicans, and that they have allowed their party to be taken over by the extreme wing. I voted in nine presidential elections, and I've never seen it this bad. So if you're a reasonable and moderate Republican, let your party know that they do not represent you. I listed in the very first video, if you would like to go back to the beginning of the list for this channel, I listed a number of reasonable Republicans that I could really respect, and most of them are still alive. You don't have to go all the way back to Abraham Lincoln to find reasonable Republicans. Okay, having said that, the topic of this presentation is, what would Jesus do? Now, the Republican Party claims that they are the party of Jesus, and yet, also, a local church in our area had a seminar in which they invited speakers in, and the whole theme of that seminar was that the Republican Party and Christianity line up perfectly. But what would Jesus have to say about that? Now, I don't have any Jesus props. The only thing I have here is John Calvin. That's as close as I can come. But anyway, many Republicans say that Jesus would have a big collection of assault weapons if he were alive today. But is that true? Well, consider this. Hey, dude! If this were to be in Jesus' time. Hey, dude, that Jesus of Nazareth guy, you should see his collection of swords and spears. Man, it's awesome, dude, it's awesome. The best Damascus steel, the heft of some of those spears. And he has hundreds of them in his mom's basement, you know, the Virgin Mary. And she keeps saying, I don't want them in my basement. But he reminds her that Armageddon is going to come, and he's going to come back and use all those swords against the people who disagree with him. That's totally awesome, man. That guy is so great. I, I hope you don't think I'm serious about this. Okay. <clears throat> now, the Republicans also like to say that since rich people pay the most of the tax money, even though it is a small percentage of their big fortune, poor people aren't really very important because the total amount of taxes they pay is not very great. But what did Jesus say? When he saw a widow putting in her mites, which is a very, very tiny amount of money, into the temple offering compared to rich people who had given a great amount of money, Jesus said that she gave more than all of them because she had given from her poverty, whereas they had given superfluity of their abundance. So, who are you going to believe? Are you going to believe Jesus, or are you going to believe the Republican Party? Jesus said when Peter drew his sword to start to go to war for Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus said, Peter, put your sword back in its place, for those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. Now, Peter did not say, awesome man, let's die by the sword, bring it on, which is what many Republicans would say today. So what would Jesus do? Would he run off and join the Republican Party? I challenge you, for those of you who are believers, read the Gospels for yourselves and see what it actually says. Don't just believe what your preachers tell you, that Jesus supports the Republican Party. No, read it for yourself. And those of you who are not believers, you might find it interesting to read anyway, even if you're skeptical. Well, I want to thank you for, once again, watching the Republican Climate Channel. Good night, and good luck.